Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. Do I say Brianna? No. Brianna? Oh, no. I do actually. I say. Don't no, I don't. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just kidding. But um, we are in the clothes. Why am I? I'm leaning down because this is on a shelf that's pretty low, so I can't like stand up straight or my head's gonna be cut off. But we're in the clothes. So I remember telling you guys that. This column right here was undone, as you can see. Um, basically, what I'm gonna be doing is taking this shelf right here, moving it over here, and then I'm gonna be replacing all these shelves, which are now back at Ikea because I returned them, with pull-out drawers. So these you can obviously pull out, and they're pretty thin, like drawers, or not like drawers, like shelves. So I was trying to make this more functional because a bunch of shelves is cool, but I felt like the, the convenience of being able to pull it out would be better for something this deep. So like this shelf is pretty deep. So if I have a bag, a bag, a bag, a bag, a bag on something like this, that's a little bit smaller. I'd be reaching to the back to grab a bag and then I'll be destroying everything and like knocking stuff over. So I was like, let me just get the pullout drawers. We'll see how this goes. But however it goes, it's gonna stay like this because I'm not returning anything else to Ikea. So I added the shelf on this side and put the one right back there that was damaged. So now we're gonna move on to the first column and put in this pullout drawer, this pullout drawer, and this glass shelf over there. So these are the pullout trays. As you can see, they're a lot thinner. And these are for storing like sunglasses, jewelry, like trays, accessory type things. Um, so yeah, I'm putting two of these, two of these on top of that glass shelf and then on top of that will be a glass shelf. I think, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're trying to figure out how to put these together. Um, it's a little confusing, I'm not gonna lie, but um, yeah, because y'all know Ikea's instructions have no words or anything, it's just demonstrations. So it's gonna take us a little second, but shouldn't be that hard. So we got the pull-out tray in, and that's just what it looks like. Literally a tray. So I have one more to put on top of it, and then the glass shelf is gonna go on top of that, but we have to see if we could put it directly on top. I think we would be able to by putting some sunglasses or something on here, and then putting the other one on top to see if it would obstruct it from opening. So I'm just gonna grab some random sunglasses and put on here. Okay, so update, my camera died so I had to let my battery charge, but we have in the glass shelf here and the two pull-out trays and we had to put this one up one higher because when it was down here, it was too close to the sunglasses and they would have just been getting caught every time you pull the drawer out. And then up here, we have this which if I were to have like the sunglasses up here, for example, or jewelry or whatever I decide to place up here, you would be able to see it before you open it so you can know exactly what you're you know, looking for. So that's why I wanted to put a glass shelf on top of this so I can see what I'm looking for. I believe we're gonna be working on my light 
We have to figure out how to get this light down. It has paint all over it, but that was because I'm replacing it anyway. So that's why it looks crazy like that. But the light that I'm gonna be putting in is like a crystal, like chandelier type of light. Y'all, it is hot in here because I still don't have blinds in this room or curtains or something. So at this time of the day, the sun is beaming in this room. As you can probably tell, it's very bright, very white in here, which is great, but it's hot. So we're gonna finish putting up these pullout trays and then I'll show you when it's done. So here it is all done. Um, we added in the pullout trays and there's still a decent amount of space up under there for storage or something. I feel like it's missing something down there. But it is what it is, it's fine. Once I put stuff down there, it'll balance it out. But everything is done. I need to try to get a full view because standing in front of it is not working. As of right now, I'm waiting for the LED lights that I ordered because I'm gonna be putting one up there and one up there where the glass shelves are. See how they look. And then I might get a few more, but I think that's where I'm gonna start because I don't want to like have too many lights and they're like strips so I don't want it to be like hella lights and it's just like you know all these strips everywhere but this is what it looks like so next up it's either this desk we can't really do the light yet because once we take this down we have to paint around it as you can see the paint already around it needs to be painted so once we take that down we're gonna have to paint it so that it looks seamless once we put the light up so i think this is next unfortunately and i hope it's not broken or messed up or anything because once it was delivered it had a lot of holes in the box and this is what it sounds like just very loose it's a lot of space in this box and i'm just kind of like oh goodness see this big old hole right here so i'm hoping it's not chipped or jacked up or anything because if it is then i have to return it order it again and then wait for it to get here so i can put it together when it's literally here already so so we're about to put the top on my desk it was easy but kind of annoying to put together i got this from amazon i just need a quick little desk to go in the corner so it is a corner desk which i'm hoping it fits in the corner properly So that is my little corner desk, right over there mm. in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so that still leaves, yeah. So uh, that allows me to now have everything in one room. I really don't be needing like a crazy desk setup. I just need the computer chair, the desk, or something to put the computer on and that's it. But yeah, that is the desk. And the next would be the light, but I'm gonna take it out of the box and see what it looks like first. So it is the next day and I am trying to figure out how to put this light together. It is basically completely pointless to use the instructions because they are absolute trash. So I went to the reviews for this light and pretty much everyone said that the instructions were not good. So I was just relieved that it wasn't just me who couldn't understand what was going on but i've been playing around with this light trying to figure out how to put it together so far i think i got the top of it pretty good i think and this baby is pretty heavy because these are the crystals right here that are going to be going into the light i'll put a picture up of the light on the screen it's really really pretty but it is very confusing to put together. So that is what it looks like up there. We were able to get that off, paint it around it. And yeah, now we just gotta figure out how to get this up there and make sure that this holds because it is a little heavy. This alone has some weight to it. So I know once the crystals are on there, this is all crystals. It's a lot of them and they're pretty heavy. 
I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I'm gonna continue to play around with this light and see. I think this is pretty much the last stages of it other than putting on the crystals, which is gonna take forever because you have to put them on like a ornament. That is what you loop onto the little holes that are on here. Those little holes. And then you just hang them one by one. And there's so many of them. So that's gonna take a minute, but I'm gonna continue to play around with this light and I'll be back. It's just the light. Oh my gosh, I need to scoot over. Can I move the rug? So the light without the crystals is up-ish. It is um, not concerning, but it was just a headache to put up, you guys. Super, super annoying. The instructions suck and the light, I don't know. I don't know how they expected you to be able to put this up, to be honest. The easiest way seems like it would have been through the ceiling, but that's not possible here, so. But a good thing is my mirror got delivered. It's the Ikea Hobbits mirror. I just got it in black because that's the theme in here. And as you can see, it's going right there on the wall. So it's not going to be like obstructing the floor. I could leave it like that, but I'd rather it not be like in the way. is all done and up and beautiful and it is this is beautiful the pictures in the reviews i was like i need that in my life i need it in my life i want this to have a very luxurious feel to it so that's why i went with something so extra but i think it looks really nice oh what it looks like on and the reflection on the ceiling and it just looks so pretty so yeah that's the light. Now I can finally do other things. Still gotta work on getting the curtain rod so that I'm able to like show you guys things all together, but there she is. So basically we just got back from Home Depot. I had to get some light bulbs for this light, which are right here. They're just some decorative bulbs. They are daylight because I love me a good crispy white light so basically right now i'm making a pizza because it is about to be i believe four o'clock and the concert tonight is at eight. Oh, i never mentioned anything about the concert so today i'm going to see victoria monet i'm so excited y'all i love victoria monet love her love her love her ever since her first body of work i absolutely love her music and her most recent album jaguar 2 if you have not listened to it do yourself a favor okay go listen to it because it's everything but I'm going to go see her tonight. I was supposed to go with Kayla Cake, but she's not able to go. So I'm just going to take my husband. I was going to ask one of the girlies out here, did they want to go with me? But it was kind of last minute. So my husband was like, my husband loves that album Jaguar 2 too. So he'll be fine. He's going to enjoy himself as well. So we are going to that tonight. So right now I'm just waiting for my pizza to be done in the oven. I picked out my outfit. So I need to hurry up. But... This is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing. This shirt right here is from ASOS. These heels are also from ASOS. This bag was sent to me from Ego, and these cargo pants are the cargo pants that were in my most recent, I believe it was my most recent, I don't know, but my most recent Hollister haul, these are in that video. These are the Bottega dupes, which I posted on my story the other day, and this necklace is from Zara. So this is the look for tonight. I love it, it is so cute. 
So I can't wait to hopefully get some pictures because y'all know I haven't been posting in ages. I gotta do better as an adult. Like, I went out the other night with Aaliyah, Kate, Angui, um, Kyra, Tasha, Alexis. Y'all, I was way too lit, way too lit. And I didn't eat enough, so your girl was sick sick the next day and I was like, I gotta do better. So I do plan on having a couple of drinks tonight just to kinda, you know, go with the vibes. But I don't even wanna look at alcohol anymore to be honest because that was just a lot. morning but it is the next day I don't remember where I left off yesterday I believe I was getting ready for the concert I probably inserted some footage from the concert previous to this clip but I'm currently in the office and I am pretty much done ish with it I don't want this room to be super cluttered I don't want there to be like a whole lot of stuff going on in here because I want it to be functional as far as like storage for my clothes I also want to be able to work on my computer when I need to do work and I also want to be able to film in here when I need to film. Right now I'm about to open up these boxes because I am about to start organizing this. So I got me like some different little things to help me kind of have a, I don't know, a better looking display. I don't want stuff to just be sitting up there so I got like some bag holders. I got some little shelves. I'm about to take all this stuff out of the box, but these are some little shelves. It's like three or two, two or three, somebody. So these are the shelves. It's three of them, it's three different sizes. So they're like tiers. And then here I have some bag hooks or I'm gonna be using them for bags. I got two of these and this right here, is a jewelry hanger. I have one already, but it is white and silver and the accent in this room is black, so I just got a black one. And then I'm pretty sure these are some, I'm using them to store hats, but these are like wig holders, I guess. I don't really know, but I'm using them to put up some of my favorites. Ruslan Baginski hats, and then also, these right here, oh, is that upside down? These are some LED lights that I'm gonna be putting one up there and one right there. And depending on how I like these, I might add it straight across the top, I don't know. But for now, I got this two pack. It is LED white light. Now they're charging and I believe they're ready. Yeah, they're charging right now. And they're both on green, so I guess that's a good sign. Okay, so I took out one of the hat holders and I don't know how I feel about them. They're literally just like little half globes, I don't know. And you put the hat on there and it stays, but you just have to make sure that you place it properly or it will like basically end up like that. So you want to kind of like and then just don't touch it. And then here are the two bag display 
thingy bobbers. <laughs> they are adjustable. I have this one at the lowest height and then I kind of brought this one up a little bit so it's kind of offset. So those are fine, I'm gonna keep those. But unfortunately, the little shelves right here are supposed to be black and they are basically like charcoal gray, almost like a gunmetal type of color. It's not black at all like the picture. The picture shows it is matte black, but these are not black at all actually, like not even an ounce of black. So I'm returning these. And then the bench that I had downstairs, a lot of people were saying that they didn't think it was a good idea to have it sitting by the door. And I agree because it is kind of gonna be in the way. So I was like, you know what? It'll be perfect in here, perfect for me to like sit down while I'm getting dressed, for example, to put on my shoes and stuff like that. So I think this is a really good place for it. You guys will see the organization video one of these days. I'm not gonna include it in this video, but I'm just letting you guys know, kind of like a behind the scenes of this. I'm gonna be filling this up and I'm gonna be showing you guys a video of me doing that because I got a lot of questions about how I organize my stuff. So yeah. So I guess I'll see you all in the next clip. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing or what's gonna be going on, but we'll see. Hey guys, it is the day after, no, it's not, is it? Today is, oh, the today is Thursday the 21st. I'm all over the place. So I'm just taking pictures in my backyard, literally. So my camera is right there outside. My camera is right there outside on my back patio. So I'm just trying to get some content. And then everything on this table, I am taking photos in. And yes, I know these should not be on the table, but they fell off my outfit but yes this is what i'm taking photos in right now and i'm kind of working with the sun because it's cloudy out right now and i noticed that the pictures look better when it's cloudy so i'm trying to wait until the sun goes back into hiding for a second but i was just shooting this outfit right here which i'm obsessed with this little let me zoom in this sweatshirt sweater situation is from Shein. These jeans are from Zara and these heels I've had for ages. They are from uh, ASOS. These are the, you guys remember the caged heel situation, the pink ones I had. I also got them in this rusty brown and I thought it looked really good with this sweatshirt or sweater. And then with it, I paired it with this little bag right here that I also got from Shein that goes with the shoes. It's not 100%, but it is a cute little fit. I wasn't able to find a bag in this bluish color, so we went with this one, and it actually doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna zoom out. So this is the entire outfit, and the sun is kinda going away, so I gotta get back out there real quick, but I'll prop my camera up on the floor so you guys can see. out here in this heat y'all it is hot I have on this sweater I'm kind of sweating a little bit now but this view will never get old it will never get old so I'm taking pictures right here obviously and as you can see it's really cloudy I'm pretty sure the Sun is gonna be back any minute you can see her peeking through over there so I'm gonna continue to get some content but yeah I gotta go change my outfit into the next fit so every time I leave I do turn my camera off to preserve the battery and I just leave it there because ain't nobody gonna steal my camera. Who gonna come back in my backyard and steal my damn camera? Nobody. So, and if they do, I got something for them. Good morning guys. I do not know what is going on with my hair. So yeah, but today is Tuesday, September 26th. And today there's not too much on the agenda other than going to see my dog Drake. Okay, I have been wanting to see Drake for ages. And I'm finally going, so I'm going to the show tonight at the State Farm Arena, which is gonna be so fun. But I was just standing here picking out an outfit, and to be honest, 
I'm over wearing heels. There's absolutely no reason for me to wear heels to a Drake concert. I'm just, it's just not happening. So I'm just wearing this white t-shirt from White Fox and then these black skinny jeans from Fashion Nova. Don't worry, all these shoes are brand new. I've never worn them before. So yeah, that's why they're on the bed. But these dunks that I got from, I believe, Goat or StockX. And then this cute little sage green bag that I've actually, I believe, worn to a concert before. I don't know, but I know it can fit all the things that I need in it. And it's within the regulations at the State Farm Arena. So this is my outfit. Real simple. Keeping it super simple. I just don't have time anymore to wear heels. This is my outfit for the concert. And then I kind of want to give you guys a bedroom update. But I also kind of want to wait until I do the like full on reveal. Okay, I'm going to give you guys like little sneak peeks. So first things first, we put up curtains yesterday and they look amazing. As you can clearly see, we don't have blinds yet, but I have just been loving waking up to this view. So I'm trying to figure out the best option for like blinds because we ordered some blinds unfortunately and now we kind of regret doing that because we want to preserve the view as much as possible so with that being said it's probably better for us to get like some type of shade so once we you know we can close it but then during the day we could just open it all the way up and it doesn't disrupt the view at all i feel like blinds are going to kind of do that so once those get here we'll probably return them and it'll be like month two with no blinds because they say they won't be here until mid to the end of October, which is super annoying. But yes, we want to do something that's going to preserve this. So let me know down below if you guys have any ideas other than like shades. I think that's probably the best option. But anyways, we have the curtains up. We do put the curtain rods all the way up because we want to keep the room very elongated and use our nine foot ceilings. To their full advantage so we do have the curtains up which i love the outside are like a toppy velvet and then the inside is like a cream linen and they are a little sheer so the ones on the end are blackout and then these are sheer so i just like the contrast between the two and we didn't want to do all four with the dark toppy color because i felt like I don't know something about it i just i just like the contrast between the two this is an update on the nightstand so we got these nightstands from wayfair they were on sale we kind of just gave up on nightstands because we couldn't find one that we liked but that was reasonable all the ones we were seeing were like thousands some some of them were literally thousands of dollars and some of them were just too expensive for what it was and it wasn't working out and i was like i don't care at this point so we got these and they actually look pretty nice with the bed. It's like not perfect, but it's not like super off either. So one thing we do want to do is change out these knobs because they just look cheap. They are cheap and we want to get maybe like a cabinet pull, a very long one. We saw some at Ikea, so we're going to see if we could find one that works for this. So as you can see, the painting is up and then we have the, you know, the headboard with the pillows. And these pillows just tie in the decor perfectly as well because they have the gold stripe and the painting just ties in with this side of the pillow as you can see so we're doing our thing in here okay so that's all i'm gonna show you so it is later as i told you guys earlier i'm going to the drake concert if you hear the music in the background i'm trying to hurry up but i just got dressed i'm keeping it very simple like i said i was gonna wear the white shirt but it was see-through so i was like no so this is the fit if it'll focus why want to focus um there we go so this is the fit black top i just have it rolled up these black cargo pants which are from my most recent hollister video these camo dunks and my balenciaga bag i was gonna wear this other bag to bring out the green in the shoes but it doesn't have a strap and i like to have you know control of my bag i don't want it to just be sitting on the seat loose so somebody can like grab it i ain't got time for that so this is the look nothing special at all my husband literally has an all black too so yeah and my hair i just put in 
these two buns. I'm so sick of these braids, y'all, but I'm trying to hold on because I don't know what to do with my hair once I take them out. So I'm just gonna leave them in for like another week or two and then they gotta go. But I'm about to go. The Uber should be here very soon. So I will see you guys at the concert. See it, I hurt so bad. Maybe I wouldn't work as hard if you were healthy and it worked.